right now we're at the stage where a lot of Edmontonians don't realize how much work has actually happened, right? A lot of this is below ground. You can see when these, uh, the arch pieces come together, become assembled and start uh, moving into place, there'll be, uh, it'll be a very exciting time. There is uh, 42 pieces that all have to be connected together, uh, 21 on each side. And uh, it is like a giant puzzle. It all has to be uh, trial assembled. It has to fit. So when it gets here, it's all going to fit together and be assembled. So you're hoping it'll arrive? Uh, well, the steel here will arrive later this year, early next year. And then throughout the winter and spring, they'll, uh, they'll fit it together. They'll assemble it. And then that'll start the assembly process where they actually move the arches into place and lift them up. Now, you can see over there at the end of the, uh, the berm, you see those, those pipes sticking out of the ground? Those are piles that are in place, and that's where the temporary towers are going to be installed. So those temporary towers are going to extend 12 meters high, and they're going to have large lifting jacks on the top that are going to reach down, grab onto that central arch, lift it up into place. On a complicated structure like this, there's so many different challenges. There's uh, just the, the actual size of the steel itself is up to 100 millimeters thick. The, every arch piece is unique in that uh, the welding uh, at all, you can't just make a jig for it. Every piece has to be custom made and then after it's all custom made, it all has to be fit together. Well, the height of the bridge will be approximately 55 meters above the normal river level. In relation to the high level, that takes it to, a, I believe, about the bottom of the high level bridge. We have a, a great contractor, really good consultant that are working together as a team to develop the signature bridge for the city.